so today we are going to discuss about a very important name reaction and this is swan oxidation so today's topic is So what is swan oxidation? Swan oxidation is basically a transformation of an alcohol to a ketone and the reagents here are the oxaloid chloride, TNSO and triphenylamine and solvent in this case is BCL that is dichloromethane so this is the standard condition of swan oxidation okay so now we have to uh, understand what is the mechanism of this reaction so before discussing about the mechanism of this reaction uh, I would like to tell you about how the reaction is actually done so uh, in this case what is what we do is that at first DNSO is um, taken in RB with BCN solvent and it is kept at minus 78 degree centigrade okay so the temperature for this reaction is minus 78 degree centigrade okay and uh, after around 10 to 15 minutes the oxaloyl chloride is added and at, at that time carbon dioxide is evolved in the reaction so you should be very careful in doing the reaction and then uh, again after few minutes like 10 minutes then the alcohol is added and it is kept for around one hour and after one hour at minus 78 degree centigrade the triethylamine is added to quench the reaction okay so then after some time it is uh, exposed to the room temperature and then usual uh, quenching will give you the desired keto product okay so now uh, uh, stepwise we, we now we will stepwise look into the mechanism so so as as we have told uh, first there is um, oxaloyl chloride that is the structure of oxaloyl chloride is this this is called oxaloyl chloride what oxaloyl chloride okay and we have uh, we have uh, dmso in the solution with dcm and then when we add oxaloyl chloride in the solution we have to find out what is the nucleophile and what is the electrophile in this reaction so in this case oxygen this oxygen poses lone pair so this is the nucleophile and these two are electrophilic centers so this lone pair will attack here and this oxygen lone pair will first come out and then push and this chlorine will be removed so it will give what it will give this one okay this chlorine it will give this now there will be a positive charge here because this oxygen lone pair is involved here so there will be positive charge now in this state a chloride is removed right this chloride so this chloride can attack here and there are now this oxygen will go here this will push here and this chloride will be removed so in this step what is happening is that what is happening so this intermediate will be generated this intermediate will be generated and here something is removing like Cl minus and carbon, uh, carbon monoxide as well as CO2 so we have CO2, CO and Cl minus these are removing in this reaction now we have this species in our hand okay so so 
on our own. Now uh, we had uh, this species in our hand. Okay, these are two methyl groups. This is the active electrophile in the reaction. And now we are adding our alcohol. Okay, so we are adding our alcohol. So what will happen is that this oxygen lone pair will attach to the sulfur and this chlorine will be expelled. So we will get like this. Okay, so sorry, I did a mistake. Uh, it will be like this oxygen. Okay, this will be generated. Now generation of this intermediate takes time. So this is why we have to keep the react keep the reaction for uh, one hour before adding the trithylamine. Now at minus 70 degrees Celsius, if if we add trithylamine, what will happen is that this this is base, so it will abstract this hydrogen acid. This is acidic hydrogen because of this stabilization of this negative charge by this sulfur. So what will be generated here is that R O S this minus and here is plus. So this is like a elite. This is a elite and this negative charge is stabilized here. Now what can happen is that uh, so Basically, this is negative, this is positive, and one methyl group is there, and there is a hydrogen over there. So, this negative charge can take this hydrogen, and this bond will go here, and it will go there. So, it will give basically a aldehyde plus. So this is dimethyl sulfide and we get our desired aldehyde. So if we start from um, uh, secondary alcohol then we would get ketone but as we started from a primary alcohol we would get uh, aldehyde. And this compound dimethyl sulfide this is a this compound has a very bad smell so you should be careful while doing this reaction. So this is the whole story behind the Swan oxidation. Now I have one question for you. Think yourself that if we add uh, this trithylamine after uh, removing the reaction from minus 78 degrees centigrade, what will happen? Or if we don't add trithylamine and uh, remove the reaction mixture from uh, minus uh, 78 degree to room temperature, what will be the case? Pause this video for uh, while and think about it. So, so what will basically happen? What will basically happen is that remember we have uh, this intermediate. Okay, we have this intermediate in our hand, and then we add minus uh, uh, trithylamine at minus 70 degrees centigrade. What is the importance of this minus th uh, adding this trithylamine at minus 70 degrees centigrade? So, if we simply add trithylamine after uh, um, removing the reaction mixture from minus 78 degrees centigrade or if we don't add, then what will happen that at room temperature, the weakly nucleophile chloride minus, even it is very weakly nucleophile, but at room temperature it becomes a it becomes capable of attacking here okay so it will attack here and we will get a alkyl halide plus dnso will get back okay so this is the reason why we should always add the trithylamine at minus 78 degrees centigrade so this swan oxidation is a very useful reaction and uh, because it is the reaction condition is very mild and 
the separation of the product is easy because all the side products forms like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide they are gaseous the separation of product is bit easier so that's all if you like my if you uh, enjoy my video then please like share and subscribe so thank you